Okay, I think we are alive and everything looks good. The audio of the video looks good. So I guess we'll start with the show. Let me get the intro ready. Oh, open here it is. All right, so welcome to the main link. The premier source for discussions and reviews and more. My name is Muhammad and I'm your host and I'm producer. And here on the ones and twos, we are the simple hope for the marginalized, giving voices to the voices, showing the stories to the world. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube and YouTube the comment box at the main play. This is where you want to be to help to have to subscribe and only have notifications enabled so you don't miss a beat. So we are live recording as well for this episode of the Impact Play. So no matter however you consume us or wherever you consume us, we are there. It supports what keeps the lights and mics on and keeps us doing what we do best. You can learn by visiting the play that come back to support for more. To help, to help us uh, keep the lights on, keep us, keep us doing what we do best. No matter. Uh, so we are also Epic Partners. Every piece you make with the Epic Game Store, we use that code to Epic Play. Help support us live up the show and take us at greater heights and no additional cost to use. Use that credit code to Epic Play. We buy anything right click, Fortnite, Fall Guys, and more. Alrighty, so we have a good amount of new topics to discuss and a lot of events, uh, tech events happening this week as well, which we will get into after a word from our sponsors. Do you want to learn about what other, what, uh, other initiatives we're doing, what other shows we're doing and the content as well? Simply go to the mplay.com, scroll a little bit down to check out their other shows. Uh, we have uh, the Mac Play for technology and video games, the Play Screenplay for film and television, and the Play Cover Play for event and show coverage. Uh, especially, you can also book us as well to cover your next event or show. Simply click on the booking tab, and we have a couple ways to do so. We have WhatsApp, PayPal, you can even check out our past coverage as well. Do you want to learn more about what other uh, shows I'm a part of? Be sure to check out my new show, thecommandantplay.com, for commandant playthroughs and discussions around Magic the Gathering. This is another kind of content. And you should in that. Be sure to check that out as well. Follow us on YouTube, uh, subscribe to us on your favorite products platform, and more. And in a world where we have less time than ever, sitting reading books, whether it be digital or physical, can listen to audiobooks with Audible. The most official way of consuming books in the modern ever. Because I don't feel free, the end of the day, you immediately access to one credit. If you have Amazon Prime a double diners, two credits good for any premium title. Save to go to audibletrial.com backslash to make play. Once again, that is audibletrial.com backslash to impact play. Alrighty, we are back! And the first one up, we have a, I guess, a new release for a new uh, updated Motor Razor for 2024. So we have a Motor Razor and a Motor Razor Plus model as well. Uh, they are now official. Uh, not really official, official, but they've been officially announced. Uh, the Razor Plus will be available on the 24th of this month in the US uh, for a thousand dollars with pre orders kicking off. July 10th at T Mobile, ATT, Motorola directly, Amazon, and Best Buy. Meanwhile, the standard model will be available for pre order on July 10th exclusively on, uh, at T Mobile. The locked version will be available on July 24th on Motorola directly, Amazon, and Best Buy for 700 So let's see. In Canada, uh, it will be available starting July 10th at Motorola.com uh, and select carriers. Uh, on July 24th for 1300 with uh, prices varying as well. So we have the Razer Plus, uh, which is also known as the Razer 50 Ultra Internationally. It's packed with a Saddam Dragon 8S Generation 3 chipset, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, a 50 megapixel main camera, and a 50 megapixel total photo camera with twice the optical zoom. The cover uh, screen is definitely an image update featuring a 4 inch uh, POL OLED display. Uh, it's, it's apparently it's saying it's uh, doubted to be the biggest cover screen of any uh, foldable. Uh, 65 hertz refresh rate, 24 hertz nits of peak brightness, and glow the glass Victus. The inner uh, PO LED screen unfolds to a 6.9 inch 1080p panel with 165 hertz rate and 3000 peaks of brightness. Uh, let's see, the cover screen supports literally any app. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the colors are midnight blue, spring green. Peach, 
uh, Fuzz and Hot Pink. The standard, which is known as the Razer 50 internationally, is roughly the same size with a, but with a smaller cover screen. Uh, the outer display is at 3.6 hertz, uh, 3.6 inch and 90 hertz OLED. Uh, we have uh, uh, Gemini, Google Photos on the outer screen. Uh, features a media tech, the, what, how do you pronounce this? The Mensity uh, 7300 X chipset, uh, 4200 mega amp battery, 15, 50 megapixel main. Uh, inner screen is 6.9 inches with uh, 120 hertz. And it's, the colors are beach sand, koala gray, and spritz orange, and vegan leather, apparently. And for the main camera on the basic model, is going to be 32 megapixel. Uh, RAM is 8 gigs and 256 gig gig gigabytes of storage. Uh, the wattage uh, is for the regular is 30 watts and 45 watts for the plus. Wireless is the same. Uh, dimensions, literally the same thing. It's maybe at most point, like point. 10 mega, uh, millimeters, uh, gram, literally the same, but yeah. All right, next up we have a Google Pixel event up for August 13th. So they've uh, sent out invites to the, uh, to the members of the press, the media. Uh, you're invited to an in-person made by Google event where we'll showcase the best of Google AI, Android software, and the Pixel uh, portfolio of devices, Tuesday, August 13th. So we'll see what they're going to highlight, what's going to show. I'm pretty sure that Google Pixel 9 is going to be there, perhaps the Pixel Watch 3 or even the new Buds. Uh, right, speaking of the Pixel 9, we have a first look uh, interna internationally on the, from Algeria. Uh, someone apparently got, the, got a, uh, was able to get their hands on it first. So it looks like it's available there. Uh, it looks like storage is 256 uh, gigabytes of storage. Uh, it's uh, pink as well. Uh, let me look at this profile, see if you have any more updates. No. All right, so we'll go to his profile on Twitter. And right, let's show you guys this as well. كما عودناكم الجديد دائما عدنا الاول جبنا بيكسل نف 256 جيجا راح ندير له سومه 10 ملايين مرحبا بكم في ايفون الجيريا باب احسن it's like they made it السلام عليكم خاوتي like كما عودناكم it used to be a straight line now they decided to put like a like in the middle like almost a straight line but still unique there's more pictures this is the same thing we've been seeing from the link from the leaks too. Uh, that's it. Yeah, that's all we have. All right. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, speaking of phones, Apple is apparently going to upgrade the design to the iPhone 16, apparently in a quote unquote important way according to a new leak. Uh, with a new processor, apparently across multiple models of the iPhone 16. Uh, all on the batteries design and battery with ampl amplified with a new powerful processor. But, looks like that's it. And apparently the battery is going to be clad in stainless steel, whatever that means. Apparently, uh, it looks like EU will be, will, uh, looks like phones are going to have removable batteries again, or it will just be replaceable. Okay, apparently the stainless steel is going to remove the difficulty of replacing batteries as well, and then meeting their standards. All right, uh, looks like that's it we have for that. Uh, apparently, I feel like servers were down. Uh, let's see. They went down July 2nd. Uh, literally almost, not the whole day, but yeah. All 
and it looks like everything is back up again. So uh, apparently, like about three o'clock, so about seven hours, seven eight, eight hours. All right. It looks like Nintendo has a comment about uh, generative AI. Uh, let's see. In a shareholder Q and A, uh, Nintendo president Shantaro Furu Furukawa was asked about the company's initiatives involving AI. In response, uh, he said that generative AI can be used in "quote unquote" creative ways, but said it's uh, and said its use also uh, raises issues with intellectual property rights. Uh, uh, I'm trying to skim through his comments. So it looks like we have uh, decades of know-how in creating the best gaming experience for our players. While we're open to utilizing technology developments, we will work to continue delivering value that is unique to Nintendo and can't be created by technology alone. But yeah, uh, speaking of Nintendo, they have a way to quote unquote stop scalpels for the uh, upcoming Switch uh, successor. Uh, apparently, they're gonna make enough consoles to meet demand, whatever that means. To ho hopefully meet customer demand, so we'll, we'll see if if they can actually meet that. Because with the all with the past switch, because we we were we were in the uh, we were in the pandemic, so a lot of these uh, a lot of these people were were stuck indoors. So of course they were shopping for console devices, and that's what made the switch to go out of stock. Hopefully this will happen again. We'll just have to wait and see. Alrighty, so next up we have another Nintendo thing. So it looks like they're suing uh, uh, two sw uh, Switch pirates for substantial and repeatable harm. And a lawsuit uh, violating, uh, accuses of violating its copyright by trading and selling uh, circumvention devices. And incorporated uh, and uploaded to Turn Freak and Ryan Michael Daly of, Mo of Modern Hardware. And James C. Williams, known as Arcbox, has been similarly accused of copyright infringement. So I'm not surprised they're going after these people. I don't understand why they think they can go away. They think they could get away with this stuff. Alright, so it looks like PlayStation is going to be attending the Tokyo Game Show as well this year. Alongside uh, Capcom, Bandai Namco, Square Enix, and of course Microsoft is going to be there too. Uh, it looks like Capcom had a a next event that did happen. Uh, so we'll go, we'll go over like the majority of of what was announced, what was highlighted, and what have you. So uh, we ahead of its launch of uh, what did he pronounce this game? Kanitsu Gani Path of the Goddess, uh, the fantasy action. Uh, strategy hybrid is getting a demo later, uh, which is available now on all platforms. Uh, it'll have uh, the demo will feature crossover content with Okami in the form of themed weapons and costumes for the main character and the maiden. All right, and apparently, they have stated if enough people play the demo, these items will be available in the full game at launch via an update. Uh, Death No Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered. It's a remaster of the 06 zombie. Uh, rule Rome is coming up to September 19th. The physical version will be available in November. So we got a first look at gameplay. 
so the game will run on 4K60, apparently. Wow. Wow. It will be available on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, and PC. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard will be available on iOS and Mac. I'm curious. I said mobile port. Which devices were this on? Or was this on before? Let's see. Biohazard. Let's go to their site. I'm curious. Allow language, English, birthday, really? Okay, let's see what we got. What we got? I'm going, oh, that's loading. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Let's pass it to God. That's not what I want. I don't want to be evil. I'll buy a hazard. Okay, so platforms. Oh, oh wow. It was released back in 2017. On um, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Stadia. Oh, it's even on Stadia. <laughs> 2021. Uh, PlayStation 5, Series X, and S on 2022. On December 16th, 2022, on the Switch. Oh, so this has been out. Oh, so, so oh, wait, this is July 2nd oh, over there, down there. What did it say here? Yeah, so it's now available, actually, and I was in Mac. Okay, just making sure. More info. Let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the iPhone 15 Pro devices. And with certain chipsets. That's probably going to be the catch. All right. Uh, Dino Crisis did celebrate their 25th birthday. But with nothing more than a, than a picture. That could mean anything, could not mean anything. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, Bleach Rebirth of Souls is a new 3D fighting game following the original story uh, alongside... I think we got a first look at the Anime Expo 2024. Uh, let's see. So it was a two-minute trailer uh, featuring a glimpses of the core cast, including uh, Ichigo, uh, Rokia, Arihimi, Arihimi, Ishida, and Chad with Sosa Society, Sawards by Kuya, and Rinjay also will also be making an appearance. So it has confirmed Amanda Namco has confirmed that it'll be available that I'm sorry that will be coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, S, and Steam. And the release date is listed as coming soon. Crazy Taxi Reboot will be an open world, massively multiplayer triple A game, according to Sega. Uh, right, it looks like we had a crossover between Battlefield 2042 and Dead Space that will be available next week. It's an event, apparently. So from July 9th through the 16th, so it's going to be available in two days as of this recording. Just a heads up. If you guys are interested in, in playing that event, be my guest. All right, we have a little bit of a absorption, I should say. So, Minimum Studios has become a subsidiary through a shared acquisition under the Capcom banner. And we got a little bit of some layoff announcements uh, after this Transformers thing, by the way. So, Transformers is actually getting a racing uh, adventure game with roguelike elements, whatever that means. So, Transformers Galactic Trials due out on October on PC and consoles. So, we'll just have to wait and see. And speaking of the layoffs, let's go back to it. So, 
Uh, Grammar's group has apparently been the latest uh, studio to be hit by layoffs. The affected teams uh, apparently seem to be affected include Destructoid uh, due to esports and PC invasion. It doesn't say what percentage or how many are laid off, but my condolences to everybody that's been laid off or and or affected. But like we, like we say throughout every layoff uh, uh, announcement that we do see, we do have a channel within our Discord community uh, for sharing uh, jobs as well for those who those who are looking for work who have been laid off and what have you. So this is our our part uh, for doing making an impact in the uh, in the industry. So again, go to theamplate.com, click on the Discord icon, which I will show you momentarily. All right, where is the website? Here it is, full screen it, and then we go here. Nope, that's my, there we go. So go to the Impact Play, the Discord icon is right here to join the Discord, to be a part of our community, our ever-going community as well. As And we also have uh, channels to benefit, uh, such as those who have been laid off or looking looking for work as well. And also be sure to check out our other shows. Uh, we have the Anime Play, which we are, li we are live recording now for technology and video games. The Anime Play screenplay for film and television. And the Anime Play's cover play for covering events and shows. And you can also book us as well to cover your next event. Simply go to the booking tab on the Anime uh, domain or website, I should say. And we have two ways that you can book us as well. You can uh, go on WhatsApp or on PayPal. And you can also check out our past coverage as well. It's our playlist, and apparently it looks because we, we've been rebooting our channel and our coverages as well. So we do have past coverage as well that is available on our YouTube channel. But this is everything, everything uh, moving forward is going to be, uh, everything is going to be organized as well. So this has been a production by the Mac Play, all rights reserved. So thank you again so much for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you. Be sure to leave us a rating or a review on whatever platform you are listening to this on. And if you want to uh, help support us even more, so go to theamplay.com, click on the support tab. Uh, definitely, uh, your support helps us keep the light and mics on and keeps us doing what we do best. You guys, once again, have a good one, and we'll see you all next time around. And also, if you did, if you're watching this on YouTube, YouTube Music, or what have you, hit the like button for the hit the subscribe, and also share the channel, share uh, our content as well with a friend, and help us, better, uh, it help us level up on the charts, reach even more viewers, even more listeners worldwide than we already are. So uh, thank you guys so much. Have a good evening. Like I said earlier, well, that's been a wrap, folks.